you, and uh, we'd certainly love to have you take part in our celebration. Mm -hmm. yes. And even if you just participated on the home front, I mean, we had blackouts, we had air raid wardens, uh, civil defense, you had aircraft spotters that sat up on top of the city hall roof with binoculars looking at seagulls and trying to make Japanese planes out of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things like that. I mean, we want to hear all these stories. So, you know, come, come forward with that information because this is what's going to make this exhibit so great. And once again, when is the exhibit? The exhibit will open December 7th. And uh, if it's a nice day that day, we plan to have a uh, major exhibit down at Ellis Square of antique military vehicles from World War II. And if it isn't, unfortunately, that'll be canceled. But the, the event itself will open at Cabot House that day, rain or shine. And it will carry through for six months ending uh, June 7th, which is the anniversary of the Battle of Midway, which is the very first glimmer of hope that the United States began to see in perhaps turning the thing around after Pearl Harbor. Mm. And please come with some stories because there will be an opportunity to be interviewed mm -hmm. on tape. That's and, right. Uh, perhaps on video. That's right. And uh, it'll be quite a time. I think that you're going to hear a lot from this. I think once people realize what we're doing and the ball gets rolling, I think it's really going to mushroom and turn into a, a really fine uh, event and exploring, you know, what World War II meant to so many people. I mean, there's been really nothing like it since. I mean, it was a major conflagration that affected everything. I know in reading the newspaper clippings, it's amazing how every facet of life was somehow involved in that war. Yeah. It yeah. just was a major conflagration, which the world hopefully will never see again. Yeah. True. Well, this sounds like a worthy project. and. We wish the society all good success in thank you. its completion. And thank you, by the way, for coming okay. on. This is our third uh, adventure together. Mm -hmm. I think we've had a good time. And, um, Indeed. We will come back with more, perhaps, uh, you were saying in the fall. We have yes. To, we have take to take a break. Take a break here for <laughs> many, many reasons. Right. But we will be back again uh, with future programs dealing with the wonderful photographs that are out in the, uh, are up in the historical society. Mm -hmm safely ensconced there and as we have said in the past we're still looking for more pictures trolley cars we we have hardly a trolley car in the collection that's right among others mm -hmm. and we'd love to have uh, whatever you can offer uh, to the society uh, they'll be most uh, most pleased we'd love to hear from anybody that has even a tidbit about north beverly yeah absolutely yeah so we'll be back perhaps with you in the fall we hope so we will continue our times past series of course during the summer months but We'll pick this up again in the fall and maybe get to know a little more about North Beverly. Mm -hmm. A very nice place to live and to be. Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, Rich. Okay. Uh, this is Ed Josephs uh, saying uh, good night for now, and we hope you've enjoyed this program, and uh, we'll be back with you as, as soon as possible. Good night. <laughs>